you said the word perspective, and I think your perspective here is key. About Baker Mayfield, I, I, I hesitate to make the comparison, but you, you kind of went there when you said the comparison with me, and I'm reading from a quote here, is more appropriate for Mayfield, the highly competitive, borderline, arrogant, angry individual. The biggest thing for me will be how he deals with, fa uh, with failure. You said that was your downfall, and you see that in him. Well, I don't, I don't know if I see it in him. I see the same qualities. What I do now is it's a new exercise where I'll, I'll listen to a lot of people do their press conferences and I'll close my eyes. And if I hear a statement or hear something said that sounds like 1998 version of Ryan Leaf, mm -hmm. I tend to kind of throw a red flag up. And you've heard that. that with him? I have. I mean, some of the things that are said, of course. But there is a borderline with his quarterbacks, right? Of arrogant to confident. There's, there's that sharp edge right there. And you want, you want one of those, but it can fall over to the other side, the arrogant side of when you start to fail, when the first game happens where you perform poorly, the media's on you, the town's on you, how you react to it. It wasn't that I played poorly in San Diego. It's how I dealt with it is what my downfall was. I just hadn't failed like that in college or in high school. And finally, when I did fail on a, on a high level, it was at the very top level where everybody was watching. And I, how I dealt with it was, which the, was where the problem was. And that's what my biggest fear is with him. He's had so much success. He has this kind of borderline angry you know, chip on your shoulder. What happens when the media starts going after you? Or the town, or you, and you don't have your good play to cover that up, right? A lot of guys who may have red flags for behavior problems and are super talented and play well, sometimes that gets overlooked. And that, of course, happened to me early on in my life. I behaved any way I wanted to, but I was still placed on this pedestal, and I could make up for it on a Friday night, a Saturday morning, or ultimately a Sunday afternoon. And when that didn't happen anymore, you have to answer for those things, and there's accountability that needs to take place. And I don't necessarily know when things get bad if he's that guy. The Rich Eisen Show, weekdays at noon Eastern, on Audience.